They ramped up security at Statesville. Lawrence can't even think about escaping. So he won't, right? But that doesn't mean that things are safe for you. But this will come at a worse time. I know. Uh, tough time for you. You got a lot on your mind. You Gigi's custody battle. Clint, his new wife, trying to get the baby. Why not throw my psycho father in the mix too, right? I want you to be very careful until we find Allison. Yeah, okay. Okay, anybody that you love, you know, Gigi, Shane, you keep them close to you. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's okay. Any word? Uh, yeah. We're gonna get this whole thing under control, boss. Hey, I'm just glad that Stacy's baby is off Mitch's radar, okay? That's the one good thing that came out of Skylar being Sierra's father instead of me. What's wrong? What do you mean? You didn't show up in court today. I thought... I, I was scared to death that you took off with Sierra. Gigi, you know me. You know I would never do something like that. I, I don't know you at all. People do crazy things when they feel threatened. Like your friend Marcy? Her back was against a wall, so she ran. Well, I didn't run. Why didn't you show up in court? Because my sitter canceled. That's it. That's all. I, I spent months not knowing that every word out of your mouth to me was a lie, and I can't help but think that you're lying to me now. Don't use Danny to try to manipulate me. I did you a solid by putting that P.I. on that mystery call you got last night about your mom. And I'm very grateful, but that has nothing to do with my job here. Well, you got the call on company time, didn't you? Stop trying to change the subject. This is a story about a father who is trying to do right by his child. The father's a drug addict. Used to be. Just like you used to be. A lot of things you aren't anymore. Isn't that what you want Danny to know? Why do you keep bringing up my kid? It has nothing to do Because with Skyler made a mistake. He turned his life around. He's redeemed himself for his daughter's sake. Just like you. Hey, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. Um, Marco is at work at the Buenos Dias, so you can find him there. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> oh, my God. The place is such a mess. I let it get totally out of control when I was working on the musical. Lang? Yeah? What was Ford doing here? Looking for Marco. For what? I don't know. Some project, probably. Well... Why didn't he just call him? Why did he have to come see him in person? No, Langston's not stepping out on me. I'm just... I'm letting my imagination run wild over some button. Look, you can trust Langston. I know. I do. But Ford? I wouldn't trust the guy as far as I can throw him. So you're taking Joplin side in the story? This is a news story. We're not supposed to take sides. Please. No, we're supposed to report, and right now, we don't know enough. Oh, well, we know plenty. Check this out. So, uh, this drug addict, Skylar Joplin, hooked up with Gigi Marasco's stripper sister, mm -hmm. and they had a baby together. Mm -hmm. Then apparently he let Rex Balsam think it was his. Every outlet has those facts. What sets us apart? Our take on it. Take away the trash, what's our take? You can't take away the trash, that's my point. Trash is everything. We dig deeper. We dig deeper, we try, we look for more. What made Skylar turn around? Was it Stacy's death, or was it something else? I need to know these things to write a fair article. You want to interview him, don't you? A novel concept for a newspaper, but yes. Yes. I'm going to talk to Skylar Joplin. I have to see the baby. I need to make sure G he's okay. Gigi, Where she's sleeping. She? She's sleeping. She's in the back. I'm sorry, Gigi, but as Skylar's lawyer, I can't allow you to see the baby. What are you talking about? How is this baby Mitch's grandchild? That's for me to know and you to find out. She even said the baby was related to me. Okay, Alice, listen. Mitch knows that this baby is not Rex's. So you're not doing him any favors by kidnapping her. So why don't you just let me take the Maddie, baby back to Skyler and I won't tell me. anybody that you hear. I'm not trying to trick you. I just want to get this baby back home to her father, okay? The messenger wants this child. Why?
This won't take long. We'll see you later. I'm coming with you. Uh, no. This is a one-person job. Normally, I would agree with you, but drug addicts can be slippery. And I want to make sure that Joplin doesn't snow you like he has everyone else. Don't you think you owe it to Skyler to just give him a fair shake? What for? Oh, I don't know. Didn't you, like, uh, blackmail his mother so you could steal your daughter's baby and raise it with your girlfriend? Oh, huh. you really, you really know a lot for someone who's been out of town because she banged her husband's son. <laughs> Like you said, this is business. I'm gonna do my job. Don't get in my way. Hello? Kelly Kramer. See you again. You were telling me something about my mother's death. What is it? She was murdered. I have no idea why Ford came here looking for Marco, so you'll have to ask him. Okay. Okay, and fine. We have to start talking about casting for the musical. Oh, yeah, Mr. G said that he left it to you. Yeah, well, he makes the final decisions, but he said he wanted my input, and trust me, I definitely have some ideas, so. Or I could just stare at the floor. What are you even looking at? You're the one that talked me out of being jealous about Ford. Now you're saying, what? I, I thought you couldn't stand the guy anyway. Yeah, I got over it. Why do you think Ford's after Langston? Look, I'm just saying, the guy is a dog. Look, I wouldn't put it past him to try and get Langston into bed. these mirrors, and there's no telling what I'll do to that kid. No, no, if Mitch wants her, you who can't hurt her. <laughs> Get rid of him, and don't try anything stupid, or I'll put a bullet in him and you, too. And I promise you, he'll never see it coming. Shane's safe. I was waiting at the front door of the school to pick him up. Good, good. What's the update? Well, John just found out that Allison impersonated Roxy to get in to see Mitch. Oh, it's something new. What'd the guards say? Nah, the guard on duty didn't hear any of the conversation. Well, what about the other guards? We're looking into it. Look, we don't need them. Awesome. Look, Bo, I hate it, but I'm Mitch's son. Jessica and I are the only two people in this world that Bester cares about. Maybe I can find something out. What are you talking about? Let me see my father. 